Does Allah have a safe and good destination for his followers? And does he assure them that he himself will not be a threat to them? Does he have qualities that people can trust him to guide them safely? Let us see where the journey with Allah ends up. From the Quran in Surah Maryam, verses 67 to 72, we learn that Allah will take his righteous followers along with the evil ones and gather them inside hell for judgment. After the judgment, the evil ones will remain in hell, but among the righteous ones, some may be able to go to paradise if their good deeds outweigh their bad deeds and if they can cross the tiny bridge of Surat. In these verses, the God of Islam is saying to his righteous Muslims, Hey, you have been faithful to me more than others in order to make me happy, but I can't guarantee to reward you for it. You may still stay in hell and suffer for eternity. What a good guide. You see that under the guidance of the God of Islam, evil ones are receiving what they deserve. They have done everything in this world they wanted. They knew that they deserved hell and now Allah takes them to hell. But the poor righteous followers of Allah trusted Allah deprived themselves of many things of the world, hoping that Allah would take them to paradise. But now they have the same destiny as evil ones. Wow! So the message of the Quran is clear about unrighteous people. It does not have good news for them. They will remain in hell. But it also does not have good news for the righteous Muslims. They may stay in hell too. There is no doubt that Allah is the enemy of those who do not follow Islam. According to these verses, He does not seem to be friendly to His own righteous Muslims either. He acts as a mighty enemy against His righteous Muslims. He calls himself the God of mercy at the beginning of every surah in the Quran, but inflicts pain on his own righteous Muslim by taking them to hell on their way to judgment. Why would a God, if he is merciful, treat the righteous in the same manner as unrighteous? Is this the Quranic definition of mercy? If the mercy of Allah does not protect the righteous Muslim from the horrors of hell, what else may be concluded but that Allah's mercy is deceiving and tyrannical? This is a clear example of the misleading nature of Allah's leadership. Shouldn't the true God take his righteous ones to heaven directly? Yes, the true God does. The God of the Bible does. But the God of Islam does not do that because he is not the true God. No matter how righteous a Muslim may be for the God of Islam, he will take them first to hell, to that horrifying place for judgment. And it is possible that they may stay there forever. The Quran says that the entry to paradise is uncertain. Surah Luqman in verse 34 says, The knowledge of the hour is with Allah. No soul can know 
what it will earn tomorrow. In other words, the God of Islam knows which righteous will remain in hell, but he never reveals that secret to anyone, even to Muhammad. He left all his righteous ones in uncertainty. Aren't you shocked by the guidance of the God of Islam? He asks you to follow him, but you do not know where he is leading you. Do you follow someone who keeps his goal a secret and does not tell you where he is going to take you? If not, then how can you follow a God with the same characteristics? The God of Islam even leaves Muhammad in uncertainty. In Surah Al-Ahqaf, verse 9, Muhammad says, I do not know what will be done with me or with you. You see? That even the Prophet of Islam follows a God whose goal is unknown. And for this reason, he does not have any confidence of his salvation. Isn't this sad that neither Muhammad nor any righteous Muslim knew or had confidence where they were heading to, but they pushed others to follow them to an unknown future too. They slaughtered many for not following them. Even more sad is that Muhammad calls this uncertainty of Allah's guidance as glad tidings. 